Hi, welcome to Real Magic Review. My name is Steve Faulkner and today I'm very, very happy to be able to review Mental Play by Nelson Suarez. Before we do this, I've got some things to say. One of which is that, as many of you know, I have an online magic course. Now, I nearly said card magic course, it used to be that. I've just recorded a video, a 47 video introduction to coin magic course. Not just an introduction, but all the slides and palms and everything. Uh, as part of that course, I've also just recorded a rope magic course. And there are 500 plus videos on there, 90 of which are live sessions we have every week. Now, this month's guest, very excited to say, is David Williamson, uh, which is just going to be a joy. So we'll be having David on the live session, as I do with, with a, a guest every month, and I host them every week as well. So uh, all that for 9 99 It's ridiculous. So head over to onlinemagic.co. There'll always also be some more uh, free stuff down below some links to free courses like the Cull course and the Introduction to Card Magic course, if you have a look at that. And, uh, and any questions about that, do let me know. And like and subscribe. A lot of people say, why do you say that at the beginning? I don't know, because people say it. That's what you meant to say, isn't it? But if you like, what I'm doing is I'm reminding you, if you already know you like it, because you've watched a few of these, make sure you press the like button. There you go. That's what I'm meant to do, isn't it? Right, I'm really happy, like, like I said in the intro, to be able to do this. This has been a journey for me. I Nelson gave me this app a long time ago, I, ages ago, forever ago. And I got into it and I started learning it and I started going, this is actually really special. And then stuff happened. He was developing loads of stuff for it. And I said, well, there's no point in me doing it now because there's stuff being developed that, and I want to be able to do that and talk about it. And then I kind of went out of it. And then I went back and I'd forgotten to use it. And he, I don't know what it's like for you, but with apps and sometimes pieces of software and weirdly enough, video games, I'm playing Spider-Man, Marvel Spider-Man at the moment. This is relevant. Um, um, if I don't play it for a few weeks, I go back to it and I can't remember all the combos and stuff. So it makes me kind of procrastinate and going back to it, weirdly, for a video game. And I do that with apps and software. I kind of go, if I haven't done it for a while, it kind of becomes quite a scary thing. And that definitely happened with this. And I, uh, but went back to it and Nelson was amazing. He, he, he's been very patient with me. I was like, I can't do this. He's like, I'll try and do this. And then other people on the Facebook page get involved. There's some really, really amazingly useful uh, people and helpful people, sorry, not useful, that sounds horrible, doesn't it? I can use them. Helpful people <laughs> that have offered their help. Uh, on, and, and that's happening across all these apps, really. A lot of Mark Kirsten stuff. People are just willing to help and, and bank his stuff. Um, Andrash and, you know, Cube Smith, Time Smith. Everybody's just putting videos up and it's just, it's absolutely priceless and been really helpful in this process. And thank you to, for the people that helped me. You know who you are. But anyway, so he's helped me out. I've got it together. I've relearned the whole thing. And this is really good. I mean, really good. And you sometimes forget how good they are when you get into it. You're sort of learning it and you forget, like many magic tricks, what the effect of these are. And I have performed this. I haven't got footage of it, weirdly enough, because I'm performing it on my phone and I've been in spontaneous situations where I've been using my phone. But let's go through what this does. I'm going to forget things here. This does so much that there are things I'm going to forget to say. So do check in on the live session after this. Um, which there won't be one this week because I'm away at a juggling convention, but there will be one soon and have a look at the titles and I'll be talking about this, answering questions because there are going to be a lot of questions, I think. At its most basic level, and this app is not to be used really for its most basic level, but it, it does, it, it, the idea is you open your YouTube account openly in front of people, your YouTube um, app on your phone, and you go into it and it, you show a prediction of a video that you filmed before. So at its most basic, the pre-built videos into this so you say okay imagine you roll the dice what number does it roll they say three you go look i've done a prediction showing you videos of, of a dice roll of three but then you can go okay so imagine i've got three different colored dice uh you've got a red one what does that roll a, a right one what does that roll and they tell you and then you show free videos on the same video like a video with three dice rolls with the what the, the number they've said which is really cool again that's that's fine. That's training. And then you realize you can, when you read on, that you can make your own videos like this, predictions. So you can create, so you want to create 57, 52 videos, not 57 cards, is there, of you revealing a card that you can say, name any card you want. Do you want to change your mind, etc. And genuine free choice. 
you say, I've done a video, you open your, openly open your YouTube, then you say, look, there's me showing a card and it's the card they've chosen. Now we're starting to go, all right, that's pretty cool because that is a genuine free choice and you can make sure they know it's a genuine free choice, no force at all. And you can create as many, I did a very simple thing of going, okay, how many fingers do you think I'm gonna hold up? They say three. I say, I've got a video of me holding three fingers up, um, but I did it in a rather humorous way, I must say, it wasn't, it was stupid. But you know, ESP symbols, and this is what you'll do when you're learning it. You'll just shoot five videos just on your phone um, and do that. And then there's this, which is kind of like a whole different thing. There's a force list thing, which is a bit like digital force bag, where you say, okay, in the description, I've got a video here. I'm going to play it yet, but in the description, you'll see there's a list of 100 superheroes. Um, give me a number between 1 and 100. You can do this before you open your phone, by the way. They say 22. You go, it's funny that. And then you can open your phone and go, I've got a list of 22 people here below this video. Uh, superheroes, that says Superman. And here's a video playing Superman. So it's like a for digital force bag kind of force list kind of thing that shows you a video of what they've just said. And then you can mix the two. So you can very easily put that and then put a video of a prediction, the, the dice prediction or one that you've recorded. So you start mixing them up. And, and this is where it starts getting interesting. Go with me on this. Because <laughs> well, what's he talking about? I know it's a bit of a ramble. And then you've got what's called a master video. So you can force anything with a video. You can have this open choice of creating loads of videos. And the master video is where they've pre-built videos into this. So one of them is a video of the camera um, goes up and you see a, a key ring of Superman hanging off of something. It goes up further and it's a chalkboard with a word written on it. That word is any word that they say before you open your phone. So it could be a name of someone. And they don't have to say it, they could write it down. It could be a, uh, a center tear, something like that. So, so now you're going, okay, they've, they've written the name, they've turned it up, they've got it on them, they don't even know I know it. I'm opening a prediction. I forced the Superman out of the force list and then played the video, and then it shows their word that they've just merely thought of. On the chalkboard, in chalk, or on the whiteboard, in whiteboard marker, or on the bit of paper, or on the playing card. And, and then you mix them up and you go, I can mix that with that. And there's this thing called Mux, which basically it looks like the same video, but you can put two videos together. It looks like it's the same one. And, and then your mind starts getting blown with this because you go, wow, this is really special. Because then what you do is you make your own versions of that with Pro. It used to be you, get a, you would pay extra for the Pro version. If it's now all in the same thing, um, in the same app and you start making your own videos with you in them, showing the playing card, and then maybe with this, this editing thing that's very, very simple to use, looks exactly like the same video, then you reveal on the whiteboard a word that they've just said. And then you can just add more and more and more and start mixing things up. It sounds very complex, and that's the problem. It sounds complex, and when you walk away from it, you go, it's gonna be weird, and you forget how easy it is. It is actually very intuitive. So that's really, for me, why you get this, this idea of them saying it. So one of the pre-built-in master videos is what I've been performing a lot, is a piece of um, graffiti on a wall, filmed outside, um, with Jay-Z on it. So you do the force list thing with Jay-Z. And by the way, please don't share this to non-magicians. I'm not putting this on my normal Facebook page or anything. So, because I think we've really got to keep these um, sacred. So is that the right word? Probably a bit much, but there you go. Um, so, <laughs> so you got, you, uh, you've got get Jay-Z and then the, the camera pans over and you've got a little bit of other graffiti, like a tag in the corner and that's the word or the name they've said. I've done that loads of times. So I say, give me a number between 100 before I've opened my phone. It goes to Jay-Z, uh, name of someone that you've seen recently or whatever and that shows. That has been absolutely frying people. It blows people away. It's incredible. The fact you can make your own version of that is just, and then... You go, brilliant, what else can this do? Well, quite a lot, because then uh, Nelson has teamed up with uh, Benke Smith, Time Smith, Cube Smith, and uh, Greg Ristami, Inject2, and um, Mark Kirsten, Wikitest, and loads of others that I don't know, because I haven't got all the apps, but if you want to get me one to review, I'll do it. I haven't even got Inject2, so a lot of people say that's great. But... Um, you, you, the integrations are amazing, and that's what I've been playing with today. So the Cubesmith one is brilliant. So they mix a cube, 
they put it down, you show a video with any word that they've just said, and the mix cube on a table, this is all built in, you haven't got to make this video, so it's got the prediction on a, like, on a little pad of paper, or a piece of paper on a note, and then it's got, and it's got the mix cube, that makes it, and the same with time sniff, it's got a picture of a watch with the time that they just matched, which you can also show on your SB watch. Sounds ridiculously complicated, doesn't it? It isn't, it's just brilliant. That's all the stuff it does, and more. He's integrated this thing called, what's it, what is it, hang on, uh, colour filter. I know that's not a difficult thing to remember, but I couldn't remember it because of that, really. Uh, which is way more than the colour filter. And basically what this gives you the ability to do without any editing skills, really, is, you know, reveal something. And as you reveal it, the word that they've said comes, you know, you haven't got a kind of it cut or anything like that. You can move your hand out of the way or move a piece of paper out of the way or something out of the way. And it will reveal, as you move it away, the word on the whiteboard or the, the, or the, um, the white piece of paper or whatever. And, and that basically means that it will only show up in, with a black background and a white background. So that won't make any sense until you do it. But what I'm saying is that it's got all this stuff built into it that means you don't have to be really clever, which is good because I'm not. There is so much potential in this. And I like the fact it's called mental play because you do, your brain just starts straight away going to lots of different places. I could do this, I could do this, I could do this. And once you start filming with it and making it, you realise it's not as complex. Right. And predictably, this always happens, but there's some really important things that I forgot to mention, and I might make a bit of a pig's ear out of it, but one of the things I didn't mention was that this Vimeo thing. So you can send them a, vi a Vimeo link with a password before you perform the trick, and it all happens on their phones. So you don't even have to get a phone out. Now, for some of these things you do, if you want to have the, the word on there that's any word they say, you have to kind of get your phone involved. But the point of the matter is it can end up on their video link. So... And, and you don't have to use that feature of them mentioning any name or mention any word. So, for example, if you want to mix CubeSmith with Vimeo, they would do uh, mix the cube up, put the cube down. They open the Vimeo link and it shows the video of the cube mixed. But think about that. They've got a Vimeo link with a password. Before you start the trick, the cube gets mixed. You force a word on them or anything. The, the word is on their, on their phone and importantly the mix cube and then you can mix it with inject and cubesmith and so the point of this is that you, you can integrate all these different apps at the same time so you don't have to sort of flick from one to the other you can you can have them working together and importantly he uses i think wiki test so he uses wiki test with um I think he uses it with Vimeo, but they again, he doesn't get his, his phone involved. And that gives you the, if you know Wikitest, a search term that they use ends up on the Vimeo link on their phone. One more thing I didn't mention was that it does also uh, integrate with Kinetic Dice. I don't have Kinetic Dice, I have Mental Dice, but it connects with you. Kinetic Dice and there's a video on there as well. And loads more stuff I'm going to forget, but that's it. I'm going to post this review now because if I don't... There'll be loads of other stuff and it'll be about five hours long. It's probably too long anyway. One of the struggles I've had with this isn't because it's difficult. It's because the instructions, and he says it takes you 90 minutes to read, which is probably about right. But actually to go through everything, they're brilliant because it does take you through it from the basics to the dice called numpad videos, the dice video and all this. And so he's, he's done it very well, but there is a little bit lost in translation. I did really struggle with some of the setup just because of the language. Um, I got there in the end, but I think it just needs a big overhaul. The instructions need to really be rewritten um, just to make it clearer so you can get there a bit quicker. Saying that, with all the help you get again on the Facebook groups and that, you, you can easily um, get over it. And he, he's very good, at, very active on the Facebook group as well. But then part of me likes that because I, I don't want people to be buying this and just doing it. It takes work and when you finally get it all sorted and it's not complex you realize how easy it is you've it's taken you quite a long time to get to that point where you just go I get this now I can put this together in minutes I thought it was going to take me hours 100 videos it doesn't take that, that long to do so you can create 100 of your own videos just on your phone and when I started doing it I, I saw how good this was but getting there was a sometimes very frustrating experience but as i said i now feel like i've earned it and i think i like I've, I've i've kind of weirdly it's been frustrating but enjoyed that experience because it's taken me some learning and there is a feeling of achievement 
And I, like I said, I want people to go for that. And that's what's happening with apps now. They're getting so good that you can't just pick it up and do it. It's not like the original Rising Card one where you just sort of code in a card and that's it. You've got to put some effort in and that effort is rewarded because the responses for this are clearly, they're amazing. And the brilliant thing is you don't need anything else. So yes, if you're doing CubeSmith, use your time and time stuff and all that kind of stuff, but you can just do this with your phone. So when anybody says, show me something, you don't have to have cards or coins on you or anything like that. You can get your phone out. It doesn't matter that it's on your phone. Nobody goes, well, that's on your phone because it's so cleverly done. The fact they're just thinking of any word, all that stuff is just, and, and the, the effect is so unexpected that it just, I had someone run away from me the other day swearing at me because they just couldn't get their head around the, what I'd done. It's, it's really good. So other than the kind of the frustrating experience of trying to get it all sorted, there isn't really anything I can say that's bad about this. And he's constantly ironing out things and developing it. He's, he's working on this motion tracking thing that he's sent me, which is just makes everything a little bit easier and more convincing. And, but it doesn't, it's almost like it doesn't need to be because it's that good. You can stop now and it would be amazing. And it's $200 or 200 euros, I think one of the two. I remember there were versions kind of like this that people put out that were way more expensive that you had to get professionally done. And this is, I think, is well worth it. There are so many different effects on this. This isn't just a one-trick pony. This, is, this does an awful lot. And I will, like I said, have forgotten quite a lot here. But I've enjoyed the process of learning it. I've enjoyed the process of putting it together. This is not the end of it for me. I'm in the middle of shooting 52 different videos and putting them together in a way that, that is really convincing. Um, but I think you should really check this out. And with the integrations and everything, I think you, you're going to have a, you're going to be very happy. I think, you know, and this got, this won the App of the Year awards, I think. I don't know where, where it's voted. I think it might be the Magic Cafe. But, um, and I think this deserves so. For me, it's kind of like with Timesmith, you've got Timesmith, um, Cubesmith, but of course they're very specific. They do an awful lot, but they're very specific. And then you've got Wikitest and this, and they're the kind of, the gold standard for me. And then Greg, Greg was done with the injects, which again, I haven't got, but everybody uses and realist and things like that are great. Um, but th there's this kind of gold standard now of this isn't just an app. This is a trick that you can get involved in, get better and better at, and improve your skill with and start performing with. And you can put, you don't have to perform this on your phone. If you did this on stage on a screen, it would be amazing, like a really amazing performance. So um, don't think this is just a phone trick. It's way more than that. So, and there's an integration, I think I did say, didn't I, with Wikipedia, which I haven't used yet. But there you go. I'll just check it. There's nothing. I haven't. Uh, there's, there's that. Oh, yeah. Oh, that, another little thing. When you make your videos, or even with the pre-loaded videos, you can put your voice over the top of them, but it doesn't get rid of the background noise of the video. So it just looks like you're there. So with the Jay-Z one, you're going, okay, so there's a, you said Jay-Z, and they can hear you, but also the cars in the background. It, Again, super easy. Um, I think this is genius. And the amount of work Nelson's put into this, like Mark Kirsten does and like um, Benke does and Andrash, and you know, they're always there, they're always on it. I don't know how they do it. I've said it before, it's superhuman. And this is, I think, feels like a superhuman achievement. It really is brilliant. It's a bit clunky to set up. That's the only other thing, visually. It's, it's easy to set up, but visually the interface is all a bit, it could do with looking a bit prettier, but then I'm kind of picking at straws here. I'm not gonna, I don't care, you know, basically. But if you want me to find things, it's that and the setup and and, um, and the frustration of the reading it. But, but he's, he's creating videos to help everybody anyway, um, which he's gonna be putting up soon. So there it is. That was a long rambly one, wasn't it? Well done for staying with it. <laughs> you deserve uh, a little prize. And that prize is, free course. So you can have a cull one, spread cull one, or if you're a beginner, you can have a beginner's course in magic. All the stuff's going to be down there. Click on the links. <sighs> Thanks very much. I'm tired now. It's because I've spent days on this and uh, losing my mind on it, but in a really good way. Uh, and enjoy myself. Have a good one. Take care. Like and subscribe. Share it if you want, but only to magicians this one, please. Please don't share this to non-magicians. And uh, do check out onlinemagic.co. Uh, and if you go and have a look at that, you can come and see David Williamson this month. And if not, you can watch it afterwards. Take care.